Hello. Today we get to know how to increase virtual memory, also known as paging files, this technique is used to temporarily use the internal storage to store data to avoid the high memory consumption. The most noticeable difference of increasing this is improving the application stability hence reducing application crashes. But this virtual memory is comparably slower than RAM although will help a lot for those devices with small RAM sizes, so that's all to cover, let's see how to increase it. Since we need to do it via direct registry editing, open Interop Tools application. Then head into registry browser inside menu. Go to the displayed path. Now type any of the memory sizes according to your personal preference and also considering the free space left in your internal storage. My recommendation is that 1GB is more than enough as the highest size but you can try 2GB and see it for yourself as you can always switch between these anytime. After setting the value you prefer, save it, and then restart the phone. After the phone boots back, go to settings, then to system, and then to storage. Click on internal storage and select system. There the virtual memory size will be the size you set in registry. Before even explaining how to do that, it's not recommended at all. The main reason is that the SD cards are slower than eMMC so it will not be a good experience. Do it only if you really want to do that for some reasons like freeing up storage from internal storage. Go to Interop Tools and navigate to the same path. In the value, change the U drive letter to D and save it. Then restart the phone and the page files will be moved to SD card, you can check it in storage settings. If you think of reverting back to the default virtual memory size, then follow this part to the end. As you can see, I have a custom 1GB allocated as virtual memory, and I want it back to be 256MB which is the default value. Let's see how to do that, open Interop Tools. Navigate to the same path we used to increase it. There change numbered value to 256 256 and save it. Then restart the phone. After the reboot, it will be back to 256 megabytes in settings. That is all about this tweak, goodbye.